Hey Taurus, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for February 6th to the 7th of 2022 for Taurus. Alright, let's get into the tarot for Taurus. Next 48 hours for Taurus. February 6th to the 7th of 2022 for Taurus. February 6th to the 7th of 2022 for Taurus. Last shuffle. February 6th to the 7th of 2022 for Taurus. Next 48 hours for Taurus. Alright, I'm going to pull an oracle card for you, then we're going to get into the tarot. All right, we have 37, which is a 10. Great, endings are inevitable. So they could be dates, times, um, years, months, um, you know, ages. We have thrown, your potential is endless, number 45, which is a nine. So 10, nine, or 37 and 45. We have master number 33, nostalgia. Focus on the here and now. Overall energy is master number 22. So we have 33 and 22. Library, take control of your own narrative. So 10, 9, 33, 22, or, you know, 37, 45. Again, ages, times, dates, birthdays, you know, whatever. So you're cutting off someone who's trying to control you. I feel like the only way this relationship works is if you do what this person says. Now, I feel like it's a parent, but it could be a boss, friend, lover, whoever. The only way this relationship stays together is because you listen to whoever this person is. But as soon as you stop, as soon as you go against any one singular belief or idea that they have, they, um, it, the relationship ends. We have thrown your potential is endless. And then focus on the here and now. Because I feel like, look, this is literally, like, this is you daydreaming about all the uh, ideas. I'm getting that song by um, Jill Scott and uh, I think it's Lupe Fiasco. I think it's called Daydream. But it's like you're daydreaming here and you're sitting at the table while this person's trying to coach you and talk to you and tell you how to act, how to be, how to present yourself. But yeah, there's, you have someone with the overall energy take control of your own narrative. You have someone in your life trying to tell you what to do. Or you have an, a, a group of people trying to tell you what to do. But it says your potential is in So you can do and be multiple things you don't have to be an exact way you can get where you're trying to go by being your authentic self there's no one size fit all here and that's what um spirit trying to tell you but this person is trying to tell you you have to be this one particular way or speak or act this one particular way to get what you want i feel like it's necessary for you to speak a certain way for this person but you know as soon as you take back control that person is leaving i mean the slightest bit of hesitance or like you not listening to this person is they're gonna leave so just be prepared for that um let's get into the tarot for taurus next 48 hours for taurus february 6th to the 7th of 2022 for taurus february 6th to the 7th of 2022 for taurus oh my gosh last shuffle of next 48 hours for taurus february 6th to the 7th of 2022 All right, we have the Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, synergy, working together, chariot, cancer. Yeah, you end up abandoning this group or leaving this group, is what I'm seeing. Page of Cups, a pleasant surprise, and the Hangman Pisces. Also, for some of you, you have a group of people inviting you to come somewhere. So it could be a college or a sorority or company. A college, sorority, or company is inviting you and you're going to go. And I feel like it's in the middle of the night is when you travel there or they invite you in the middle of the night or you travel there in the middle of the night. Over on the two of swords. Yeah, there's someone trying to stop you from doing this. Someone does not want you to go to this college, this sorority, this group, these friends, this company. Someone does not want you to work with them. And they are a perfect fit for you. You've been waiting to hear from this group in particular or someone from this field. It's like a match made in heaven with the Page of Cups. You are really happy for this invitation. Because I'm seeing it as an invitation. I'm seeing you as very uh, happy, prideful, boisterous, you know, um, shouting your happiness to the rooftops. But Spirit's telling you to hold back on celebrating with the Page of Cups and the Hangman. That's seeing both sides of a situation gaining enlightenment. Hold back on the celebrating because I feel like you're going to have over on the Two of Swords, people trying to stop you. You have someone who's trying to stop you from that. And as soon as you decide to go against them and go hang out with this group, they're going to abandon you. It says nostalgia, focus on the here and now. I feel like you're looking back at the past with this person. So the person who's trying to block you from hanging out with this group or to go into the school, this college or a sorority or whatever, this person has been in your life for years. And they're holding you back. 
at this very moment because you're sitting there like maybe I should listen to this person because they've been in my life for so long and I can't just jump into this new group like you're gonna have to speak your mind and that's how you realize this person's not your real friend because a real friend or whoever would hear you out they wouldn't abandon immediately abandon you and this person is like it's either my way or the highway that's not a good or happy or, or healthy friendship because you have a great opportunity here um with the three of pentacles that's um collaboration group synergy working together you have a group here that's ready to work with you work for you they're ready to put you at the top or just work alongside you this is an offer of a lifetime that you've been waiting for or you never imagined you would get and you're going to make that move with the chariot also this is cancer you're going to make that move but um the opinion of someone else is going to try to stop you clarify this for taurus Clarify this message for Taurus, please. Three more shuffle. Clarify this message for Taurus, please. And last shuffle. Clarify this message for Taurus. That was definitely four, but it's whatever. <laughs> Clarifying the Three of Pentacles is the Two of Cups. Soulmate connection. Yes, you were meant to group together with this. This new group that you're going towards, this offer, the higher form towards is a higher commitment. That's what I'm saying. It's either college or sorority or job is a higher promotion, a friend group, putting you in the position that you deserve to be in. Also, it could be a Taurus. You're meant to work with this group. And someone's very jealous about that. They do not want you to work with this group, the sorority, this company, the college, whatever. They don't want you to be friends with them or cahoots with them. They're going to abandon you as soon as you do it. Clarifying the cherries, the four of cups. Yeah, if you don't act now, it'll be a missed opportunity. And we have the Emperor Aries. He has a higher up boss CEO offering you to come work for them or go to their school or something like that. You're getting an offer of a lifetime. And if you don't act fast, you will lose it. Don't let this person ruin that. Clarifying the Page of Cups is the Five of Wands. Yep. It's, this is a very competitive offer or field. You have a small time frame to respond. We have the Queen of Wands here, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's a fire sign trying to compete with you for a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. For some of you, it's a custody battle or whether or not you get this person during the, this weekend or something like that. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is trying to compete with you for this offer. Or this child clarifying the hanged man is the ten of pentacles yeah and the page of pentacles so it could be a cancer scorpio pisces or um virgo taurus capricorn child in the mix here overall energy is again the two of swords blockages major blockage two people are a major blockage in your life an aries or you know uh aries leo sagittarius we have the emperor and the queen of wands the person you're supposed to be working with could be a Taurus. I feel like there's um, a Cancer trying to help you, but there's <sighs> the Cancer could be your ride, but there's an Emperor Aries who's offering this to you, matriarch of the family of boss. I feel like there's a mother or father, there's a parent or boss or CEO trying to stop you from going to another company. Yeah, there's definitely a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, trying to compete with you or stop you from going to another company, either with a cancer, probably. But I see that you're, you're being fair. You're not reacting to either side, but you are collecting the bag, the Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. A new beginning in business, stability. You're growing your, um, you're growing your company, or you're going to a company that you know is going to grow, or that's grown. I feel like you're looking at the background of both companies or both people, and you're realizing one is more like authentic and humble and grounded than the other. You're going after the one that has the most roots, whatever that means for you. But because I see you inheriting generational wealth. Also, with nostalgia and folks on the here and now, you're looking back at your family tree and history, the wealth in your family and spirit telling you focus on the here and now. Don't worry about that. Because you, regardless if you come from an impoverished family or people who don't believe in anything, you're going to be blessed with the Page of Pentacles. It took a while to get there, <laughs> but you're going to get the inheritance, the blessing. You are going to be the first one to do it. I feel like the blockages are you looking back at the past and your, you know, your family tree or people from your past. Also, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, 
is a blockage here. All right. I'm going to leave it there because I feel like I could go all over the place. Just know that you have um, your family history or someone who's like my the, my way or the highway, whether they say it out loud or um, it's like implied. You just feel that with this person. You just know that if you don't do exactly what they want or agree, they're going to they're gonna abandon you. So that's who this person is that you need to cut off. This That person is your blockage here. All right. Um, if this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, her Etsy is linked below. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.